My name is Johnny Lake, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. The trivet, it's like a very simple three-legged apparatus that holds a pot over a fire. That simple apparatus is somewhere in all cooking cultures. We draw inspiration from all different cultures. You know, I've spent a lot of time in Italy, some time in France, grew up in Canada, but it's, you know, it's not any one of those things. It's all of those things combined. This dish took a long time to figure out. Each step of the way in the recipe, it's building with what came out of the step before. I and mean, I think what we end up with is something pretty special and quite elegant. My name is Johnny Lake. We're at Trivet Restaurant. And today we're gonna cook a dish called Drunk Lobster Trivet Noodles. We've got some uh, beautiful uh, native lobster tails here from uh, Cornwall. We already taken the bodies and the heads of the lobsters and used them to make a stock. So I'm just going to carefully cut them in half. Now just with like a sharp knife I'm going to just slice it and kind of come right through the shell. Now that I've kind of cleaned them out I'm just going to put this skewer in to just kind of stop it from curling right up when we cook. So uh, this uh, pasta dough, it's a very, um, very dry, very hard pasta dough. We do it that way uh, because the end texture we want to be very noodle-like, very, uh, very chewy. The color comes from the semolina flour and the egg yolks we use. We mix those together, uh, make the dough, we let it rest overnight, um, and then we carefully kind of extend it through the pasta machine and then we cut the noodles through the, through the cutter. Another inspiration for this dish, you know, about six, seven months before we opened the restaurant, Issa and I had the opportunity to travel to Japan, to northern Japan. At one point we were in Hokkaido, very famous for like soba noodles, like that buckwheat noodle type thing. It was amazing, I really found that texture of noodle very interesting. So as we cook them, uh, what we have is a, is a lobster stock with sake. As it cooks, it'll reduce down. Everything goes into the, the noodles themselves. And, you know, because of that rough texture in the pasta, it kind of really clings to it. This is where the, like, the drunk noodles comes through. I mean, at the end of the day, this dish is just building umami all the way through the stock making process. The lobster tails, we'll, we're going to start out from cold Essentially, we're kind of just steaming them in their shell. You know, we've got a very shallow amount of the lobster stock and sake. It's just starting to uh, simmer now. And as that's happening, I'm just kind of tilting the pan and letting the stock kind of come over it. Steaming them like this in their shell and then kind of taking them out at the last minute kind of keeps that really kind of nice color to the lobster and they shine. So the pasta is coming down now. You can see all the stalks being absorbed into it. We do this dish with different sea vegetables, really. This is a monk's beard from uh, Lazio, kind of central Italy. Whenever this is in season, I try to use it as much as I can. It's, I really like it. Pass is pretty much done. I'm just going to take that off. The lobster, you can see it's just started to go opaque there. So we're going to remove those as well. And we're going to use what's here just to, uh, to, to make the sauce that's going to finish the dish as well. So what we have here is the stock that the lobsters were cooked in. I'm just going to finish it with some white miso. This is a sweet white miso, sakyo miso. It's quite light, but still heavy with umami. So, so just going to whisk that in, just cook it out a little bit. You don't want to get it too hot once the miso's in. Uh, it'll kind of split out. So the, in a way, the miso's emulsifying it a little bit. So just gonna pass that. The lobster, we're just removing them from their shell. This is a uh, lobster oil that kind of comes off at the end of the sauce making process. All that oil rises to the top. We kind of take it off and just kind of strain it to give this beautiful kind of colored oil which is, you know, it's another reason why I really like this dish because it's all kind of being used in some way. So now our, our noodles are completely cooked. The stock is completely uh, reduced down. So just gonna get them all up onto the tongs here. 
I mean, I think in, when I'm trying to present dishes, I'm trying to keep them as simple as possible. You always start with a lot of components and you got to kind of work your way through it and figure out what's essential. And then, you know, you start taking bits away until you're left with just what's, just what's there that you need. A few more of the monk's beard. And then just gonna place the tail beside it. Just follow the shape of the plate. And then we've got the claw, the little arm. To finish, I've got the sauce. I'm just gonna finish it with some parsley oil. So this is a sake that we pair with the Drunk Lobster Trivet Noodles dish. It's a Junmai sake from Nagano, Japan, and we serve it uh, warm, 38 degrees. Okay, so this is my Drunk Lobster Trivet Noodles.